Shalom, this week's Sedra is Sedra et Emor. One of the first digital songs that spread via the internet was a phrase mis- misattributed to the Nachman of which states that it is a mitzvah to always be happy. Mitzvah gedola liot besimcha tamid. I'd sing it for you, but then you'd shut off the video. The song was copied and recopied, sent and forwarded, and sparked the question of copyright laws in halacha. This Torah Torah will focus on the emotional balance the Torah requires. There are many places that the Torah governs our emotions, whether happiness on festivals, sadness during times of mourning, or loving certain people and God, or fearing others and God. These are all examples of the Torah's instructions on our emotions. In examining a Pasuk and the Sedra, this Tvar Torah will show a healthy approach to an emotional relationship with God. The above-mentioned song of It is a Mitzvah to Always Be Happy, Mitzvah Gadol Yod B'Simcha Tamid, was disproven by the many contradictions found in the Torah and Halacha. The most obvious is the all-too-common case of a festival which interrupts Shiva. The Talmud's explanation to this familiar case is that mourning and happiness cannot coexist. They are mutually exclusive, thereby disproving the fact that it is always a mitzvah to be happy. Sometimes, in fact, it is a mitzvah to be sad. We relate to God on many different levels, communally versus personally, emotionally versus intellectually. And, relating, and when relating to God emotionally, there are the different emotions. One in mourning relates to God through their depression, constantly questioning and affirming God's existence. While one in the midst of a festival relates to God through their happiness, relating to God through excitement and enthusiasm. In our sedra we find a verse, but on the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when you gather in the produce of the land, you shall celebrate the festival of the Lord for a seven-day period. Many of our early scholars explain the seemingly extraneous word, but, that starts the sentence, ach, in the original Hebrew. The Rashbam and Ibn Ezra, among others, explain the word to separate the verses that talk about Yom Kippur and Sukkot. While Sukkot is observed joyously, Yom Kippur is celebrated solemnly. solemnly. Each person relates to God in their own way. While the Torah and the corpus of Halacha provides a framework to relate to God in a healthy, constructive manner, the inner relationship we have with God is one that each person forges on their own. Some will do so in solitude, others in the midst of a community and others in various emotional states. All are valid, and all are to be encouraged. The seeker of God distinguishes the different paths and finds their own. It's a challenge for us this week. Shabbat Shalom.